Watering. We'll go into that just basically. Um, sometimes we see, I, I think in the uh, in the brochure from Wingers, it, it mentions the method that we used to use when we were in the city of Baltimore doing community forestry. Um, real easy to get five gallon buckets, or in, in the case of Baltimore, some of the delis got pickles in six gallon buckets. So they were even better. But uh, we used to take a lot of those, use them on the streets to water the street trees. Uh, if you take a five gallon bucket and just punch a small hole in the bottom of it. Doesn't have to be very big, you don't want it big and uh, fill it with water, put it around the base of the tree, right out around the edge of the root ball, and uh, you can fill it and it'll slowly seep out into the ground. Uh, you, run the, the, you have the advantage there that it's not running off the soil, you're not spraying it through the air, nothing's evaporating, it's just all soaking into the soil and keeping your root ball moist. Um, for the first few weeks when you put something in, you wanna keep it as moist as you can. You probably don't wanna uh, saturate it too much. You don't wanna suffocate the tree with too much water, but you wanna make sure it has plenty of it and generally through the first year of any planting, that's pretty much all you want to do is make sure it has plenty of water to establish. I don't recommend doing any fertilizer or anything like that. We just want the tree to get set up in its new environment, get it growing there before we do anything beyond that. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that uh, as your trees, you get into some of the larger sizes, the buckets, may not, you may need two or three of them to get around the root system. Um, I've seen great success with using some of these soaker hoses. Uh, they just kind of weep water out through them. Most of them are black in color. Um, they work very well. You can do a ring or sometimes a double or triple ring around the tree, turn them on for a couple hours and all that water will just soak right into the ground around the root ball. Again, if you put them out and that soil around it and that soil is moist out beyond the root ball, it encourages the roots to grow out into it. They're gonna, roots are going to respond to water and nutrients, so where they can find it, they're going to grow.